Hello, everyone. I started too early, right? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Biostock. Today, we are at World Trade Center for our event, Investing in Life Science from Seed to Success. And one of our sponsors is Potter Clarkson. And I have here with me Kevin Breach mm -hmm. from Potter Clarkson, who is going to tell us a little bit about the company and why they choose to be with us today. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's a pleasure. So tell me a little bit, uh, what does Potter Clarkson do for those who already don't know? Yeah, so Potter Clarkson is a full service IP firm which means that we deal with anything from uh, trademarks, designs, uh, litigation, licensing, uh, doing things like due diligence for companies. And uh, what I work with personally is patents, which we have specialists for all ranges of technology. Um, me and uh, my colleague, Hannah, who's with me today, are in the life sciences uh, branch. Uh, so I, I have a biology background and work with uh, clients that have those sorts of technology fields and help them support their uh, patents, basically. And you are based in uh, Sweden or I'm, England? Yeah, yeah, we're around. So we're like Anglo-Nordic. Uh, I'm based in Stockholm now. So I, I just, well, the office is a short walk away from here. Uh, but we have offices in London, Gothenburg as well, in Copenhagen, Aarhus. And then in the UK, we're in Glasgow, Nottingham and London. So you're easy to reach. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, though everyone is in our connected technology. Um, so what, what trends are you seeing uh, nowadays in life science? So at least for me in, in the life sciences that I'm working with, um, I, I have an immunology and background, um, a background in immunology. And a lot of the technology I'm seeing come through there are leaning more towards cell based therapies and Kind of these, uh, it, there's technology that's at the periphery of what regulatory approval is getting, and we're starting to push that boundary out. I think as we get uh, better regulations in place for these technologies, it just means that more of it can reach the market. So that's what I'm uh, seeing and hoping to see more of. Is it more small companies or big companies can, uh, can consult you? I think it's a mix. You tend to see a lot of small companies um, are being supported by larger companies now. So all of the big farmer are kind of happy to see these small companies that get seed and uh, uh, larger sizes through that can really drive the innovation at the forefront of science. And then sometimes a big company is going to come in and try and scoop that up. It's, it's, it's a lot of clients' uh, exit strategies is something like that. So what are the common mistakes that these startups are doing in life science uh, when it comes to IP? So, uh, it, I mean, I have to preach what I do and it is not getting involved with the diligent process of IP early enough sometimes. Um, really, you need to make sure that you're speaking with professionals that have that commercial focus and can go through IP strategy with you early on because... What is early on? Well, early on is pretty much uh, for life sciences, uh, you need to have some data for what's going to support your uh, invention, your innovation in some way. But as you start to build that data, you already want to be talking with uh, patent attorneys basically to say, right, we've, we're starting to see these exciting things. At what point do we want to file a patent? So they don't go on and uh, publish first. Exactly. This is one of the things. Uh, it's a curse of being former academics. We're all taught to publish or perish, and it's not a case of patent and prosper. And you really need to get that patent uh, strategy in place before you go and tell everyone about your exciting uh, innovations, which hopefully everyone has done here today. So, <laughs> hopefully. Yes. Yeah, so what, why did you choose to come here today and sponsor this event? Why is it important for Potter Clarkson? I mean, it's such an exciting role to get involved with the companies at the stages that they're at now. Uh, they all have some fantastic technology. The proof of concept is done. Some of them are reaching that clinical uh, or early stage clinical stage. And it's just it's, it's at that point where you know the science is there and it's backed and you're starting to look for new creative ways to try and uh, flower out someone's IP portfolio. And it's just it's where we get to be most creative, seeing them drive their innovations forwards at this point. So it's it's a great stage to join. Thank you for joining us. And oh, thank you for I having hope me. you get a great day today. At oh, Fort I definitely Tracing. will. Yes. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you.